Hello, I am Stardust Saber 64 here to bring you Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Yeah, we'll start off with a new day with a new file. I deleted all my old data just before I started this recording, and yeah, I'm be starting from scratch. Let's see. Ah. I'm losing my bearings right now. I am also going to be referring myself as Starblade from every now and again, provided I can spell it correctly. And I am going to be representing my home country, America. So in case you're wondering, I am going to be showing off all of these circuits all 16 circuits in the main, as part of this main Let's Play, and every circuit I'm going to be using a different character, because there are exactly 16 circuits and 16 characters, there will be one character per circuit, so everything circuit. works out alright. When you start off, you're only going to have beginner's class and free circuit, we'll get into what free circuit is some other time, but beginner's class, you only have four of the five unlocked right now. We have Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn, named after four of the eight, or I guess you could say nine, planets of the solar system. As for this, in order to unlock it, you have to complete all four of these at least once, though you don't have to win them. How circuits work in this game is they have three to five events, depending on what class you're in, and... You have to play through all those events using the character you selected at the beginning, and try and win as many as you can. Like, for example, with the Mercury Circuit, which we are going to be starting in the next video, you have the 100 meter run, the long jump, and the hammer throw. And at the end of every event, the, every character that's in that circuit is going to get uh, points, depending on what their placing is, but the better their placing, the more points they'll get. But we'll be going more into that after we start a circuit for real. As for free circuit, basically you can choose one of these options where you can have either a four player circuit or eight player circuit, however that doesn't mean you can have eight human players playing. You can only have up to four computer players, and unfortunately there is no online play in this game, which is stupid and disappointing. But then again, I guess Nintendo was still trying to get used to it, or should I say Sega, as they're the ones who developed this game. And when you choose one of these two circuit options, you have to choose between all pos- you have to choose from three to five events, and you can only choose from the ones you've unlocked so far. Yes, I said unlocked. One thing that you can do also is go into single match, where you can play any of the events you've unlocked so far freely, not like in circuit mode. And that's how you earn regular medals in the game. By winning circuits, you earn trophies, but by com but by winning a regular events in single match, you just get medals. And here is the mission mode, where you can select any of these any of these 16 characters, 8 from the universe of Mario, 8 from Sonic's universe, and you can basically play up to a total of 6 missions for each character, but when you first start the game, you're not going to have every single event unlocked, meaning you won't have every single mission unlocked as well. But we'll be going more into mission mode after I complete all the circuits. As for the gallery... Um... Well... Basically, you can choose to learn about five different types of Olympic game trivia. And... In order to do so, you actually have to play mini-games, 
and depending on the mini game will depend on the section that you're choosing. And if you complete all five mini games in an area, then you will actually unlock two different uh, songs here, one in Mario, one in Sonic. So you can get all ten of these songs if you complete all 25 mini games out of this place. It may seem like a hassle, but they're not really that hard, or and they're certainly not that long, unless you choose to make them that long. But more on that in an extra video after completing the missions, which we will be going after after completing all the circuits. As for records, basically you can see all your records that you set on on this file, like uh, your best time in some events, your best distance in other events. Rankings is basically where you can see where your score is compared to anywhere else. And we are going to update my rankings because there's something I actually want to get. Emblem awarded. Emblems. We'll be getting into that after I'm done explaining this, but... Anyways... Yeah, you can see all these different records, which are easily hacked records. And you can see how well some of them have done. And you can also choose near my records to see how well you rank. Which, let's face it, we're not going to be seeing mine at all. I'm not going to be showing them in this Let's Play. So you're just going to have to watch along. And here you can look at every single thing you've earned in the game so far. You can look at all the medals you've won with every character. There are 24 events in the game. And yeah, you can earn medals for all 16 characters in all 24 events. And that is one of the most annoying things to do, trying to 100% this game. Here you can see all the trophies that you earn from completing, from getting first place in the circuits. There's a total of 16. And as for emblems, they're basically the achievement system of the game. And whenever you pull off something cool or whatever, you just get an emblem. We'll be getting into what some of the emblems in this game are as we go along, but others I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to explain at other points. And so far we only have one, which is our first connection to the Nintendo WFC rankings, which is the Network Emblem. Some emblems are earned through uh, doing special things and events, others are earned through playing as certain characters. In fact, you can earn 16 emblems by completing mission mode with each of the different characters. One emblem per character. And here are our crowns, the most annoying things to get in this game. Basically, if you get all 24 gold medals with a single character, then you get a crown for that character. There are a total of 17 spots for crowns here, but that doesn't mean there are 17 characters, contrary to popular belief before this game's sequel was released. And the 17th crown is earned by getting all 16 other crowns, at least that's what I'm assuming. So yeah. Basically, if you earn this crown, all the... Tr trophies and all the emblems, then you've pretty much 100% the game. Oh, you also get an emblem for completing all 25 uh, minigames in the gallery mode, I believe. So, yeah. When we start off the game, you are going to have, let's see, four, six. You're going to have 12 of the 24 events unlocked. So, we'll go into what this is right now. We've got Athletics, which is actually divided into two mini-categories. At the start, we have 100 meter and 110 meter hurdles. We will eventually unlock the 400 meter, the 4x100 meter relay, and the 400 meter hurdles. And as for the field events, 
Well, we've got long jump, triple jump, hammer throw, javelin throw, and we are eventually going to get high jump and pole vault here. Yeah, it's all pain, I know. Gymnastics. For gymnastics, we only have two. Trampoline and later on, which is my least favorite event in the game, vault. I have no idea how you're supposed to get the emblem for perfect score on vault. That's just annoying. Oh yeah, I spoiled one of the emblems. <laughs> Shooting, you only have skeet. We'll be getting into that in about two parts from now. In table tennis, we have singles. It's stupid that it has its own category, but whatever. But yeah, table tennis, blah blah blah. And for fencing, we have individual epe. That's one of my favorite events in the game. And as for aquatics, we have 100 meter freestyle and 4x100 meter freestyle. We'll be getting into the specifics of each of these events later on. And in the middle here, we have three different categories of, um, three different categories of events here that we don't have unlocked at first. These two over here, in no particular order, are, uh, rowing and archery, I believe. And this one in the middle, well, I don't want to spoil it because that's the best part of the game. These events are, are what I always go back to play. But yeah. Circuit mode. Just to please you guys, let's start off by setting up for the Mercury Circuit. I'm by myself right now, so... Basically, I'm going to be going in order of power type, all around, speed, and skill. But I'm going to be saving Mario and Sonic for last because, let's face it, that's awesome. They're awesome characters. So, yeah. We're going to be starting off with Knuckles, the Echidna. Next part. Goodbye.